Uh, Hello, viewers. I'm Pumadonna, and this is Doki Doki Literature Club. First thing I want to say is it is wonderful to see you guys here again. Uh, you may have noticed that my last couple of videos have been like really short animations. I'm I'm learning how to animate in Blender. Uh, I'm not super good at it yet, but I'm getting somewhere ish. Maybe a little bit, kind of. Anyway. I figured it was about time to bring back some video games. Mostly because I gotta wait for the video to render. Mm, boy. Okay, so, where we left off was, uh, uh, Natsuki, manga, we're doing stuff. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual vo bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone! Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Uh. Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though, you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> it... ah! Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. <laughs> You're just giving it back? <laughs> Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... <laughs> Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Uh? Is it... Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. <laughs> well, of course. I wouldn't take- it would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish it, that one before tomorrow, so we can start the next one. <laughs> and if it gets bent, I'll kill you. Wow. Wow. Kind of threatening. I mean, I mean, I do understand. I am very defensive or protective of my own manga. Um, I have a small, it's a really small collection, namely of very obscure titles that like nobody's read except for maybe a handful. And I'd be upset if they got damaged, especially since one of them was specifically bought so I could practice reading Japanese. So. By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. <sighs> By the way... By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Uh, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everybody's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their mo poems. Sayori is a, on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Ooh, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, Monica. 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 Monkey. Mm, that's that's rude, no. Uh I will just call her money. Uh let's see, who should I show it to? Well I really I just spent time with Natsuki. 
so I guess I'll show it to Natsuki first, since we were all we're already kind of in a little huddle together, maybe a little bit. So now, uh, if 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 this if this is not as interesting as the one that was sent to me uh, in the comments, then I will probably read that one instead of this one, but we'll see. Who should I show my poem to first? Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Uh, hmm? Uh, okay. Well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you uh, my opinion. It, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. <laughs> in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in my mind. I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. <sighs> well, I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Huh, well, it's not l that great. Let me show you what a real literature looks like. What real literature looks like. Blah, blah, blah. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Uh huh? So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Okay. Natsuki re uh, Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. <laughs> you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty, sure, uh, pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss she likes my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? <sighs> Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Uh, well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to explore? Uh, but isn't the oh that's that's me that's me. But isn't the point of isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? So I actually used to do a little bit of poetry when I was younger. Um, I had taken some courses on writing lyrics, and so they weren't so much poems as they were kind of song lyrics that I liked, and. I never really shared them because I was self-conscious about how they sounded. And I was one of those kids that really did not like sharing with others because I was just shy and self-conscious and I figured something bad would happen. Uh, yeah, I learned a lesson real quick that sometimes it's the not sharing that leads to bad things happening. Who knew? <laughs> but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. <sighs> yeah, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you in it hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. I decide to write about it. Man. And it's not just great things. It's like people around you do really amazing things. And then 
when you're the person who's like just messing up all the time where you're the you're the the uh the underdog the the person no one wants to be around because you just you mess up so badly all the time and sure you learn but it's really disheartening when you're the failure all the time and everybody's doing great things but you and that's something I struggle with all the time is and, and especially when comparing myself to other people who are better at the same things and younger than me and it, it it's 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 something I've worked through mostly but it's something that still hits me hard so I kind of I kind of relate to this message a little bit so I decided to write about it yeah I understand but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay like I set up for a rhyme at the end but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. <laughs> That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Okay, so next we're gonna talk to Yuri. Yuri. Mm -hmm. Yuri stares at her poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Oh! Sorry! I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. To, uh, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh, so it's that bad. No! Uh, did I just raise my voice? I'm sorry. Yuri bury, uh, buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Oh, right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognized in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. At the end results that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together that's probably been the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. And that's like any skill, really. Like, forging ahead, practicing, doing it, accomplishing that goal, and just moving steps forward. You become better, stronger, and sometimes you even learn to love it more than you did before. Uh, the example for me is like, even though I don't post to YouTube often right now, with each video, with each time I push myself to do something new, something better, uh, to follow the critique that I have been given or the helpful hints, it, it helps to build a foundation and create 
this structure that I hope will um, eventually lead to something good, something m measurable, you know, just like, you know, anyway. So yeah, that is, yeah, my feelings, I guess. Wow. I guess with some of these girls, it's a, it's, it's, it's big mood all around, eh? It also, I also hope that everybody else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. Yeah, don't talk about people behind their back. It's not right. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, 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 shame. That's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as it's as if it, that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh no. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the pleasant but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I mean, my personal thoughts is, I guess, I get the imagery she tr she's trying to, to portray, but it doesn't really strike me as meaning too much. I guess I'll find out more about it as she taught, or as she tells me about the poem, but what I like in poetry and music is something that makes you really think about what you're doing. Like, there's a message. Uh, and I guess maybe it's just that I haven't... I only glanced it quickly and didn't think fully about the poem. But that is... It, it's just... It's not my type of poem. Is all? Uh, I'm sorry, I have terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Oh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Oh yeah, oh man, it's been a while since I read uh, script cursive. It was, I mean, I've, I've had it like all my life, basically. And I know my sister writes in a lot of script, but, ugh. It's still very difficult. It's almost like reading another language sometimes. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something... A little more mild. Something easy to di digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Puma. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their works. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It 
it's nothing, really. Well, well, it makes me happy that you think that. I just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Oh, just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have, I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay. Monica, okay, let me see. Uh, yeah, we'll do the next two in the next video, but that is it for now. Thanks for joining me. It was wonderful to talk to you guys again. Um, leave any comments, criticism, or critique uh, in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe for more content. Um, I am trying to move up to uploading daily. Um, and it's probably going to be either animations or video games at this point. So, yeah. Um, thanks again for joining me. Love and kisses. See you next time. Bye!